today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a creative YouTuber, it's trying to be yellow, no why. And today I am going to do a video that I think is very fun. I don't know if you think it is that fun, but I'm going to react to 10 of my old looks. I think this might be my fourth part, third or fourth part. I saw this... Um, Nikki Raven and Annette's Makeup Corner did do a collab when they reacted to their old looks and I thought it was so fun. So I have been going through my Instagram feed and picking out 10 looks at a time and react to them. So the looks that I am reacting to today is in the beginning of 2019, so in February, so almost four years ago. So I'm just going to scooch and then we're going to get started. And the one thing that bothered me a little bit when I'm doing these, it's not often that I like written which palette. I think I'm better at that now, like in the beginning, no. But now since like, I think it was in my last video that I was good at it as well. I don't know. But okay, we're going to start. Do you see like the mess in the background? I don't know, but I have laundry and then Astrid decided to sleep on it so I couldn't take it away. She's sleeping. I don't know if you can see and why am I showing you? She's sleeping behind a pile. <laughs> but okay, this is a look, a whole matte look that I did with the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics. I I did three looks one palette with that palette. I don't know. I don't know about lipstick either. I just don't think that these are my colors. Like I do not like mine if I'm doing a warm tone look or a cold tone look, but like this, I don't think it's my thing. I think I can go with like, if I'm going to go with a colder lip, I can't have that cold eye, cold, cold toned eyes, I think. I think this look isn't just, it's not, it, it, it's not a good look. I, I do not like it, but at the same time I did with a Naked Basics palette, so maybe this is what you get when you are doing a free looks with a neutral palette but i would never do this look again the next look is a look that i don't like either uh, this was a collab with the betty bean and we did do a monochromatic look so i chose the color for her and she chose the color for me and she did really challenge me and took teal which maybe is a little bit fun because today i'm a little bit tealy and I thought it was so hard. At this time I didn't like blue. Blue is not my favorite now either and I just thought it was so hard. I thought it was very fun but I at the same time thought it was very hard and I didn't have that many teal shades so it was really like a monochromatic look and I think I like tried too hard or I didn't try hard enough. I don't know. It feels like a really flat look. And the lipstick, I guess I took, I had like a clear gloss and then I took an eyeshadow on it because I didn't have any teal shades to have on my lips. Mm, I don't really know. If I would do a monochromatic teal look today, it wouldn't look like this, like not at all. So, so maybe I should try to do that and see like if I like it more now because I hate when I'm using a color that I don't like and the look doesn't turn out any good then I'm like not I'm just hating the color more <laughs> than I did before but yeah I do not like this look the next look is my first impression look with the Ferro palette from Menagerie and here I did a halo and I did like this halo it is shimmers on the side and a matte in the middle. And I guess that that can work, but I don't think it worked that good in this case. If I'm going to be honest. A for effort. F for execution. <laughs> I... I don't like this. And it's fun to see like how much my lipstick choices have changed. I was much more pinkish girl before. Now it's more red and deeper lips, or yeah, this is not like my lip choice anymore. 
And I think this would, would have worked better if I didn't take as much yellow. I do not mind to do like a reverse halo with a matte in the middle and a shimmer on the sides. I think it can look cool. It didn't in this case. But I think, and I also like that my side cut is... I did grow out my side cut at this time and I like that it's like living its own life. The next look is, uh, we're coming into my, I think it was my first theme week actually. So I have been doing them for a couple of years and this was my Yuva's Place week. I did have seven palettes from Yuva's Place at that time and I decided to do a whole week and I did different things every day with the palettes. Like I did a first impression, this is the first impression with Saharan 2. I did a palette bingo and different stuff, so I guess we are going to look at a lot of Yves Place looks. And uh, yeah, this is the Saharan 2 and even it's a half cut crease, I get that, but I think it's too little of a half cut crease. Today I went all the way because it didn't go as planned. I can leave my the video where I'm doing this look and you will see why it didn't go as planned. But like I was so afraid taking because I don't have that big lids. I don't have so much base to play with. I think I do have kind of small eyes. I don't know. But uh, I was like afraid to go in really really much with the shimmer. Like I was afraid to cutting the halo too much. Not the halo, the half cut crease. And I don't know why, because I think this would have looked so much better if I really have taken it super long out and just have the reddish shade in my crease and just a little bit out here. I think that would have looked really cool. So the colors, I do not mind, but I just wish that I would have done this half cut crease a little bit longer. The next look is the lips. I would never, never in my life use this lip again. I, I don't even know what it is, but I guess it's a pink lipstick with a gloss. Never ever in my life. And here I did do a whole cat crease. and. I think I should have taken the the shimmer further up like in my crease that would have looked better but other than that I do really like this pink shimmer in the Zulu palette but um, I did love the Zulu palette so much more a couple of years back and now I, I actually thinking about decluttering that palette but yeah Nothing wrong with this look. The lips though, it goes good with the eyes. I can't say that it doesn't, but I would never, never have done this. A lips now, never. Like I, before I thought like, yeah, a pink lip is something that you should do, but like pink lips isn't for me. It's not, I, I have some pinks that I do like, but like this pink, it's not for me. And I think that I have really too much of uh, the crease shade and too little of the shimmer. The next one is a palette bingo with a use place palette. Which palette? I have no idea. And I guess that this... It depends on which colors I got. It's hard to like judge. But what is this? It looks like a really nice shimmer. I wonder if it's maybe, is it the Dusay palette maybe? I don't know, I haven't read in it so... Just like today's video is a palette bingo and tag you this place. I start to like, like having a lighter shimmer on top. I don't do that often though, but I do like it. Like it's like a, just a veal of another color. So I do like this look for being a palette bingo look i think it looks good i think it would have looked better if i had maybe a 
not that reddish under orange reddish and had like a pink or purple but at the same time this was the palette bingo so I couldn't like use the colors myself but nothing too nothing too bad then another a little look this is completely matte look and I have nothing against matte looks and at one point I did really like to do them like mattes was for a long time the thing I liked the most when it comes to eyeshadows now I do like shimmers the most um, I just feel like I always want a shimmer to my looks because I think it it looks the best I think and it's the most fun it happens a little bit more if you have a shimmer and yeah nothing against this look at all the lipstick works and I just wonder what, what palette did I use for this maybe this is that to say okay and then we're coming into this look and this I don't know I really don't know first off like the lipstick not my thing not I, I, I no it's not a lipstick for me and then the like halo I don't think you need a super light or like a super big contrast when you're doing a halo I can I think you can do like a halo with whatever you want I think all halos look good but this I think this would look better as a cat crease not a halo eye and this is the shimmer and the shimmer it seems like and I don't know. Yes, you can do a matte and a matte and shimmer and shimmer, but in this look, I don't know. I do like the purple though that I have in the middle of my halo, but do you know which palette it is? No, nobody knows. I have to go back and check the video in that case, but yeah. It's fun to see though that I'm still loving halos, like almost four years later. The second to last look, this is going really fast. Maybe I don't have so much things to complain about anymore. This I did with the Saharan palette and I remember how amazed I was with the shimmers. I don't even know if I have the Saharan palette. I did declutter some of my US Place palette like a year back. I don't know if I still have this palette. But here I did something that I really hope that I don't do anymore. It is like blocks. like. The white shimmer, the gold shimmer, and the black. Just mix them, just blend them a little bit, Lisa. Why do you look like this? I do like the combo. Like, the three colors, I think, goes good together. I have nothing to complain about, but, like, why didn't I mix or blend them together? Like, shimmers blend together with shimmers the best. You can, like, blend whichever shimmers you want together like you can take a green and a red and it will still look good it it won't look messy it won't look like just a big brown blob thing and why don't they do that i think i was like afraid that the shade in the middle was going to be so small that it wouldn't show up I think with US Place they do really good shimmers. I don't think that would be a problem at all with this, but for some reason I'm so afraid I was to just blend them together, just to make them look more. I don't know. I just. I don't like it. No. And do I look like a totally different person without bangs? And really long hair. And the last look is also a US place. And this doesn't look that good, but I think I remember what I did. I think that this look is with a festival palette, and I what I can remember that was the last look for that US place week, and I decided to use all the nine shades in the palette in one look so I when you look at it as that I think this is not a catastrophe 
it is not a super great look, but it's not like super. Yeah, it's not the best look, but at the same time, it's not a super like awful look either. I just don't know. Why did I thought that was going to be a good idea? Why didn't I stop myself? I haven't done that for a really long time using all the shades in one palette. Because I don't think... I think there was a time on YouTube when that was like a popular thing. And like really challenged yourself. And just see if you could get a look out of it. Now it doesn't feel like a thing that people do. And I think this could have been a really good look if I just didn't have to take all the shades. Like the pink and the blue looks really good together. I don't know if I still have this palette either. Grace A that I don't know. And yeah, that was all for this video. I hope that you think it's fun even though I don't have that much to say anymore. I, if you have any idea how I could make this more fun, please let me know. And I have been thinking about redoing some of my older looks that I think that I can do better now. And I had a series where I did two parts maybe, where I took an old look and new palette. And that was kind of fun, like to see, then you can really see how you have changed and really like maybe have the knowledge and uh, be able to do the looks the way you want them because i feel with these looks that i'm looking back on there is a lot of looks like i maybe didn't know what i was doing and i just tried things and i think now that i know more like what looks good on my eye shape what like i have found my technique on working with shadows more and yeah, you learn by doing things. Like, if you don't try, you will never learn. But yeah, <laughs> I hope that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't will miss any of my videos. And now in December, it's going to come up pretty many videos. I don't know when this is coming up though. But yeah, I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!